There is no way, there is no way that you can look really fashionable with one of these masks. Anyways, Monday morning, early, 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 headed into the office. I got no breakfast in my belly and you know what time it is. It's time for bouts. fast I'm working 24 7 with getting medical supplies to all over the world so let me tell you a little bit about the mask war here in China so to give a little bit of background for you guys that don't know me I source products here from China I've sourced my own yeah, watch brand I source products for influencers I source any type of products from China to the rest of the world however Right now, there is a huge freaking demand all over the world for these, for the mask and for other medical supplies. And I'm trying to help as many as I can with getting masks out of China because right now everybody wants this and it's really, really difficult to get a hold of them for us and for you guys that's not in China. It's freaking impossible. So I'm trying to help you as much as freaking possible. <laughs> Basic economics, when demand exceeds supply, the price goes up. And we're trying to figure this whole thing out because there's a lot of factories that are producing for a very low price, but they're fake. They're not real. The moss is like fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's they're just like paper. So in order to secure that these are real mosques, you have to check all their paper, like the, the FDA certificate or the CE certificate. I'm also learning like crazy about all these different types of mosques, because right now we're talking to hospitals in Sweden, both Stockholm Hospital and Gothenburg Hospital. I'm sending a lot of moss to the US where it's, it's just for like private people use it's not for a hospital and then it's different standards so so right now everybody have probably heard about the N95 standard but it's not only that you have the KN95 you have the N99 you have the FFP2 you have the FFP3 and there's a lot of other different standards that we're now trying to figure out who needs what and who needs what where and also right now for every day the price fluctuates because some suppliers can provide more, some suppliers can provide less. Also the type of quantity you want, if you're ordering like half a million of masks, of course you get a lower price than if you order like 200. And also like the shipment, okay right now people don't want like boat shipment, they want air shipment because they need it within one or two weeks, which we can provide if people are willing to pay. That's another thing. If governments are ordering these type of stuff, if they order, for example, we have one order out now that's two million mosques. And if a mosque costs like four dollars, that's quite a lot of money. And right now, all the factories need 100% payment up front. So the question that we have, should we give 
a factory here 8 million dollars in order for a Swedish hospital to get the supply. I mean, I don't have that laying around in my bank account. If you have, please come with me and we can make a deal out of it. But that's the type of trouble that we're trying to figure out right now. And the most difficult thing that we find is that right now, so many people reaching out to me and say that they have masks. But I bet like 80% of them are totally, totally fake. I have like someone that I met at the club sometime, I had some like producer of AirPods, it's my nephew, like a lot of people are reaching out to me and say, hey, we can provide you with 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles. So the, the problem is to like filtrate what's real, what's not. Is it good enough for the purpose that the buyer are using it for or is it totally just like a piece of paper that you put over your mouth? Another thing is that for every day the government changed the rules. So before it was like free for all, you can send whatever you want, but for every day they're changing the rules. So sometimes you cannot send certain type of mask, you cannot send them out with an official purchase order from like a hospital or something like that because China is the one that are producing these type of products right now. No other country does that. That's why they have to like control it in one way or another. So that's when we're telling that you guys can ship this and that. People have to act super fast because the price might vary, the stock might vary, and there might be some laws that just say, okay, that type of mask or that type of medical equipment can't be sent out right now. So just think about that when you reach out to me. Act fast, know exactly what you want, and I'll help you as much as I can with it. So right now, it's freaking crazy, this market. We're trying to figure it out. I've been working, yeah, both Saturday and Sunday, and now I'm here Monday again, just working 24-7 just to make this happen. So if you contact me, because a lot of you guys have contacted me, I'm doing my best to serve you. But if you come with an order of like 50 or 100 masks, you have to understand that the priority is quite low if that compared to like, a, I don't know, a hospital that, that wants 2 million masks, yeah, then we prioritize that. Of course, I want to bring you the mask as quick as possible and I'm really, really trying my best. But just so you understand, I don't want to send you fake stuff. And that's a very big hassle to understand, okay, what's real and what's not. So if you want to order a lower quantity of masks, let's say up to 200 masks, wherever you are in the world, what I need from you guys is how many do you need? What type of standards do you need? If you can accept other type of standards, what's your budget, where it should be sent? Not just the US, not just like Europe, no exact address because then we can calculate everything for you and can make it happen way, way quicker because the price and the stock might vary from day one to day two. So if you send a request today and I respond tomorrow and you respond the third day, then it might be a totally different price, the stock might be out. So to make everything as simple as possible, write as much information as possible, and I'll do my best in order to, to bring the supply to you as quick as freaking possible. I guess that's it. I got 20 minutes of lunch in the sun and now I gotta go back. today guys just working 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 I'll show you what I get from usually the suppliers of these masks in order to make sure that it's not just a fake mask that it's real masks okay so usually so usually we get a list like this and a list like this that shows how much it costs minimum order quantity what type of certificate and stuff like that we get them from many different suppliers like here we get one and that's yeah a lot of different stuff uh, we also I have now from many different ones so here we have there there we have from another and they usually send us stuff like this this is like the uh, 
um, yeah, business certificate, they send us the uh, approval, they send us the FDA certificate, they do a lot of different stuff like this. And here they show a little bit of the factory, they show here they're looking happy clappy and yeah, simple stuff like that. Uh, so this is what I get and I get them from many different people. I get them from many different factories. So here it's more professional, they see all their certificate, everything like that. So what usually happens is that we collect sample from these with the certificate, we send it off to the client, the clients approve it when they got the samples, then we do the big order, we purchase, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000, 100,000, 2 million masks, uh, we get them all the way. And right now it's always, always with air freight, and it's not with ship because it has to be there super quickly. So that's what I'm like trying to, to bring to you guys. Um, uh, but it's always the list are updating every second day, every third day with the prices, with the freight cost, they run out of stock. It's, yeah, it's, it's a freaking mess. But I love it because I really feel that I'm contributing right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.